A good book grabs you from the first page. The opening lines set the tone, create curiosity, and make you want to turn the page. It's the hook that pulls you into the story, making you eager to know what happens next. A good song hooks you with the opening notes. The melody, rhythm, and beat capture your attention instantly. It's those first few seconds that make you decide whether to keep listening or skip to the next track. The same goes for essays. You have to grab your reader's attention right away. The introduction is your chance to make a strong first impression, to intrigue and engage your reader, making them want to read more. How do you do that? With a strong section introduction, each section intro should be crafted to draw your reader in, just like the opening of a book or a song. Think of each section intro as a mini introduction to the whole piece. It should provide a glimpse of what's to come, setting the stage for the content that follows. It sets the stage for what's coming next. Just like a director sets up a scene in a movie, your section intro prepares your reader for the information or story that will unfold. It tells your reader what to expect. A clear and engaging section intro acts as a roadmap, guiding your reader through the content and helping them understand the structure and flow of your essay. And, most importantly, it keeps them reading. A compelling section intro maintains your reader's interest, encouraging them to continue and explore the ideas you present. Without a good section intro, you risk losing your reader's interest. They might become bored or distracted, and your carefully crafted arguments or stories might go unnoticed they might wander off to another essay. You don't want that. Keeping your reader engaged from the start ensures they stay with you until the end. So, let's learn how to write section intros that captivate and engage. By mastering this skill, you can make your essays more compelling and enjoyable to read. Ready to dive in? Let's go. Together, we'll explore techniques and tips to create powerful section introductions that will make your writing stand out. The first section intro is crucial. It's your first impression. You want to make it count. Start with a strong hook. This could be a surprising fact, a thought-provoking question, or a bold statement. Next, provide some context. Briefly introduce the overall topic of your essay. What are you going to explore? Why should your reader care? Finally, outline the main points you'll cover in this specific section. This gives your reader a roadmap and helps them follow your train of thought. Now, for a quick question. What's the most important element of a first section intro? Think about the question from the last section. What did you come up with? The answer is the hook. That's right. The hook is absolutely essential. It's the first thing your reader sees. It's your chance to make a good impression and convince them to keep reading. Without a strong hook, even the most well-written essay might go unread. It's like a beautiful house hidden behind overgrown bushes. No one gets to appreciate it. Now that you've mastered the first section intro, let's move on to the middle sections. These sections are crucial as they form the core of your content, providing depth and substance to your narrative. These intros serve as bridges, connecting your ideas smoothly. They ensure that your reader or viewer can follow your train of thought without getting lost. Start each middle section intro with a transitional phrase or sentence. This helps to create a seamless flow from one idea to the next maintaining the reader's engagement. This signals to your reader that you're moving on to a new point. It's like a green light, indicating that it's time to proceed to the next important idea. Examples include, furthermore, on the other hand, or building on this idea. These phrases act as signposts, 
guiding your reader through the complex landscape of your argument or narrative. Next, briefly recap the previous section. This helps to reinforce the key points and ensures that your reader retains the information. Remind your reader what you just discussed. This not only aids in retention, but also sets the stage for introducing new information. Then, introduce the main point of the current section. Make sure this point is clear and compelling, as it forms the foundation of the section. What new information or perspective are you bringing in? This is your opportunity to present fresh insights or expand on previous ideas. Finally, just like in the first section intro, provide a brief outline of the points you'll cover. This gives your reader a roadmap of what's to come, helping them to stay oriented. Here's another question for you. Why are transitional phrases so important in middle section intros? They not only connect ideas, but also enhance the readability and coherence of your content, making it more engaging and easier to follow. Section 5. Question time. Keeping the momentum going. Time to ponder that question about transitional phrases. Why are they so crucial in the middle sections? Give it some thought. The answer is that they provide a smooth reading experience. Transitional phrases act like signposts, guiding your reader through your essay. They prevent abrupt shifts and help maintain a logical flow. Section 6. Unlocking the secrets of the middle. This section is crucial for understanding the core of your narrative. Moving on, let's discuss how to write a compelling conclusion section intro. The conclusion is not just an ending, but a powerful summary that ties everything together. This is your last chance to leave a lasting impression on your reader. A well-crafted conclusion can elevate your entire piece. Begin by reminding your reader of the main points you've discussed throughout the essay. This helps reinforce the key messages and ensures they are fresh in the reader's mind. What were the key takeaways? Summarize them succinctly but effectively. Next, restate your thesis statement, but rephrase it to sound fresh. This shows that your argument has come full circle. Don't simply copy and paste from your introduction. Instead, reword it to reflect the journey your reader has taken. Finally, set the stage for your closing remarks. This is where you can leave your reader with something to ponder. What final thoughts or insights do you want to leave your reader with? Consider posing a question or suggesting further areas of exploration. One final question for you. What's the biggest mistake writers make in their concluding section intros? Often, it's failing to connect the conclusion back to the main argument, leaving the reader unsatisfied. Section 7. Question time. Leaving a lasting impression. Think back to the question about the concluding section intro. What's the biggest pitfall writers should avoid? The answer is introducing brand new information. Your conclusion should wrap up your essay, not introduce new arguments or ideas. Imagine watching a movie where they introduce a major plot twist in the last five minutes. It would be unsatisfying and confusing. Section 8. Sticking the landing, crafting a memorable conclusion. And there you have it, a crash course in writing captivating section introductions for your essays. Remember, a strong section intro is like a welcoming door, inviting your reader into a world of knowledge and insights. By mastering the art of crafting compelling section introductions, you can elevate your writing, engage your audience, and leave a lasting impression. Now, it's your turn. Share your thoughts, experiences, and any lingering questions you might have in the comments below. 
Let's create a vibrant community of learners and writers. Section 9. Question time. Leaving a lasting impression. We value your feedback. Please take a moment to answer a quick survey question. What is your biggest challenge when it comes to writing essays? Your responses will help us create even more helpful content 